the suburbs. Almost as much written about as Madison Avenue. And just as much in need of reflection. Like Madison Avenue, life in the suburbs has its good moments and others not so good. Oh, no! Discouraged? Disgruntled? Heck no. They're glad to be here. Remember? So they join the stream of family life in the suburbs, soon to become part of its familiar sights, soon to absorb its familiar sounds. Anybody home? These are what Red Book means by its young adults. People in a certain living situation with particular interests and particular goals. These young adults begin to discover Red Book about the time they apply for their marriage license start life in their own homes, have their first baby, take out their first loan, and they stay with Red Book through their busiest years. As Red Book sees them, they're an energetic lot, a carefree lot, even though so suddenly plunged into family life. As the babies start coming, they usually decide to concentrate on their houses with a woman staying home to learn new ways to run a household. Where it soon dawns on her that she could use a little expert help. While the kids are young, many of the mothers try to stay at home, which isn't always so easy either. times when it's good to have other young adults to talk to. But wherever they go, there's usually a baby nearby. About the time the parents think their children have them hypnotized, they give a party and bring the kids. School construction, when we're talking about that all the time, I think that when they build the schools, you can play. I always know how my children behave. 
Any magazine written for young adults and matching their busy lives is bound to be lively, full of things to talk about, varied and warm. for the first time and determined not to miss a single new homemaking idea. They're busy just making choices and welcome solid information in concise form. It takes a while for a young couple to realize all they're in for when they buy a house or when they have a baby. And when they buy a house and have a baby, so hardly realizing it, they come into their purchasing stage and are off on a wild, non-stop ride. It's a happy-go-spending world reflected in the windows of the suburban shopping centers where they go to buy. Red Book has been studying shopping centers because the people who created the suburbs are young adults. And the shopping centers are built in their image. Selling to young adults demands a new kind of marketing. For these young adults, the shopping centers have built fountains, commissioned statues, put in restaurants and freestanding stairways. They've included banks, loan offices, rental plans, plant nurseries, and places to buy building materials. The shopping centers see these young adults as people whose homes are always in need of expansion. People who buy in large quantities and truck it away in their cars. It's a big market. To help people find their cars, the centers have enlisted the children. They have put in shopmobiles to help them cover the ground. They have added banks of storage lockers, miles of checkout counters, and endless rows of carts. Carts rolling down the malls at Southdale, at Northland, at Gulfgate, Sunrise, and East Point, at Hillsdale in California. These young adults, shopping with the same determination that led them to the suburbs in the first place, are the going as part of a nation on wheels. Living by the automobile, the first young adults in the age of the push button.
Like the rest of life in suburbia, shopping has a family flavor. Do you remember what size she was? Five. Then we bought a tree to go with. Yes, uh, that was pretty nice. All right, well, shall we take it? These busy families make the shopping centers look young and colorful. They have a let's go see quality that brings crowds to community events and promotions. For the children, whom the young adults have always at hand, there's plenty to do and see. While his family shops, a boy can catch a fish, ride the rides, go to the circus, visit the center zoo, and have his hair cut. And if that doesn't tire him out, his mother can put him in the center's nursery school, where he can get paint on his shirt, see his friends, and wear himself out on the bars. Since these young adults seem to be able to outlast their children, they stash them away at a neighbor's house and go back to the center for more. This is the life young adults lead, summed up recently in a single phrase, and dramatized by Red Book in major shopping centers all over the country. For more than two years, Red Book had been working with merchants associations in shopping centers, studying young adults. When the Easy Living promotion was presented, Almost every store joined in. The first center-wide promotion in the history of marketing. Before Red Book could develop a successful selling program for young adults, it had to get out and see them many different ways. It had to get to know them so well that it could become a magazine solely for them. What are young adults like from an editor's point of view? Well, they're not so much high brows or low brows as wrinkled brows. They're serious, and no wonder. To give these serious young adults the substance they want, to build a durable relationship with each reader, Red Book edits for one person at a time.
Having established a personal relationship with its readers, Red Book then talks to them so that they recognize their own living situations in its pages. I wonder whether we could be happy in a place like that. When we brought the baby home, I thought Billy looked awfully worried. I've got a boy just like him. Comes home from school, always asking questions. I remember the first time my daughter asked me about God. They were out on strike for months. If that ever happened to us, I don't know what my husband would do. Just as the realities of family life are thoroughly woven into Red Book, so are the realities of community life. Many young adults come to the suburbs as ex-apartment renters. So, what about the roads? The schools? Will somebody please explain what a bond issue is? Writing for young adults, Red Book's editors have to keep learning and analyzing. Without too much crystal ball gazing, Red Book's editors have to keep an eye to the future. There is a whole new generation coming, soon to be young adults. A bigger than ever market of people who have a history of their own, who remember all the way back to Eisenhower who probably never saw their mother use a ringer, think automobiles or household appliances, and have reserved seats on the next rocket to leave the Earth. But right now, you can ride along with the happy ghost spending Buy it now, young adults of today. Ride with the young adults who are buying 70% of all homes sold. Swing into the orbit of more than two and a half million families. Right now, with the only mass magazine aimed exclusively at young adults.